Hello viewers, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will discuss on sacrifice. Sacrifices are one kind of extreme files. The extreme files are one that life in extreme environment. For the sacrifices, the extreme environment is the cold environment. The meaning, examples, habitat, molecular adaptation, also the application of sacrifices will be discussed here. So stay tuned in this video. First of all, we have to know what is the meaning of sacrifice. Sacrifice is coming from the Greek word. The Greek sacros means cold or frozen. And the Greek phila means love. That is a cold loving organism. Sacrifiles or cryophiles are extremophilic organisms that are capable of growth and reproduction in low temperatures that range from minus 20 degrees centigrade to plus 20 degrees centigrade. The optimum growth temperature for sacrifiles are 15 degrees centigrade. Many organisms such as bacteria, archaea, also some eukaryotes such as lichens, snow algae, phytoplankton, fungi are classified as sacrifiles. Next first is the examples and habitat of sacrifiles. The examples of sacrifiles include Aromona species, Arthrobacter species, Cycrobacter species and the members of the genera Halomonas, Pseudomonas, Hyphomonas, Fingomonas etc. Next part is the habitat. As we have already discussed that the sacrifiles are cold loving bacteria. They live and grow in cold temperature. The sacrifiles are found in places that are permanently cold such as permafrost, polar ice, glaciers, snow field and the deep ocean water. Next part is the most important part that is the molecular adaptation. To enable them to survive and grow at low temperature, sacrophilic organisms evolve a complex range of molecular adaptations in their cellular molecules such as DNA, RNA, proteins and lipids. Such molecular adaptation remains same stable and functional at low temperature. So this molecular adaptation is occurred by various mechanisms. By freeze tolerance strategies, modification of the membrane lipid, by carotenoid pigments, cryoprotectants, cold shock proteins, cold active enzymes. These all are involved in the molecular adaptation of sacrifice. Now let's discuss the molecular adaptation of the sacrifice a little bit elaborately. Okay. So the sacrifice are protected from freezing and the expansion of ice by ice induced desiccation and vitrification. That is the glass transition. As long as they cool slowly. Free living cells desiccate and vitrify between minus 10 degrees centigrade and minus 26 degrees centigrade. Whereas the cells of multicellular organisms may vitrify at temperatures below minus 50 degrees centigrade. The binding of ice crystals during the developmental phase of sacrifice and the antifeeze peptides and glycopeptides present in the sacrophilic eukaryotes leads to the reduction in the freezing point of cellular water. Next is the membrane adaptation. The short unsaturated fatty acids in the lipid cell membrane have a lower melting point, which increases the fluidity of the membrane. This helps to overcome the stiffening of the lipid cell membrane. In addition, the carotenoids are present in the membrane which help to modulate the fluidity of the membrane. This modulation in the membrane fluidity helps in the adaptation of the sacrifice. The cold induced CSP proteins in the CSP family having the DNA binding ability are directly linked with the functionality and maintenance of chromosome structure in sacrifice. The CSP protein overexpression protects and promotes the chromosome folding. The trihalose and the exopolysaccharides play a significant role in the cryoprotection of sacrifice 
by prevention of protein denaturation and aggregation. Cold active enzymes like protease, lipases, cellulases, which are highly efficient with exceptional features, are helped in cold adaptation of the sacrifice. The genome of sacrophiles has a higher number of catalysts and superoxide dismutase genes, which help to mitigate the oxidative damage of the sacrophiles in the cold environment. The key to low temperature tolerance is an improvement in the versatility of protein. This is accomplished by the reduction in the number of residues of proline and arginine, which contributes in the minimization of the backbone rotation and also by the increase in glycine residues in their sequences. The interior of the proteins are hydrophobic in nature, which results in the reduction compactness of proteins and the elimination of the weak non-covalent interaction. The antifreeze proteins are also synthesized to keep the sacrifice internal space liquid and to protect their DNA when temperatures drop below water's freezing point. By doing so, the protein prevents any ice formation or recrystallization process from occurring. The enzymes of these organisms have been hypothesized to engage in an activity-stability-flexibility relationship as a method for adapting to the cold. The flexibility of their enzyme structure will increase as a way to compensate for the freezing effect of their environment. This, all these mechanisms are involved in the molecular adaptation of the sacrifice. And the last is the application of the sacrifice. Sacrifice are used in bioremediation. Sacrifice hold tremendous potential as an environmental cleaner to successfully degrade the pollutants. They are also used in the industrial purposes. They are used in leather industry, cosmetic industry, pharmaceutical industry, food industry. These sacrifices are also used in detergents. Even they are used in molecular biology. They have a wide variety of application in molecular biology. These are all about the sacrifice. Thank you. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.